Hello everybody, just thought I'd show you a really quick cooking with the Noi episode. In this episode we are cooking a beef and cheddar wrap for breakfast. Kind of in a rush to get to work and I didn't want to make a messy food, so I thought I'd just get something I could heat up in the rice cooker. And I have two of them. One of them is already in there. Looks like it's wrapped up like a pentagon shape. I was hoping to fit both in there, but I don't think I can fit both in there without them blocking the other one from cooking so we're just going to set that one on there put our lid on it and set our heat on high we'll set the heat on high here hear my inverter going here and there it is cooking you can hear my inverter going because i already had the inverter on i also have my um switch already the switch here for those of you who haven't been following along in the past basically i have um a line a power line that runs from the switch to my vehicle battery and then the other part of the line runs to the house battery which is a 35 amp hour AGM unit and then that's connected to the um, power inverter back there which I'm not showing right now because it's such a mess anyhow um, that's how I'm doing my cooking as you can see I'm currently at a Walmart parking lot um, I just woke up um, and uh, went inside Walmart there to pick up some food to eat and I'm cooking up right now to eat, hopefully in a few minutes. Um, basically, all you're doing is you're, you're warming this thing up. The normal instructions on it say, you know, you can cook it in a, a microwave or something. It says you're supposed to cook it in a microwave or in a skillet or in an oven. Um, so, what we're cooking it. It's kind of like a skillet. We're using the um, the rice cooker right there as if it were a skillet. And just have the heat on high. And we're going to heat it up. Then we're going to flip it over and heat the other side. And it should be done. Now, how do I know when it's done? I don't. I just sort of estimate or guess. After it's been in there a while, I'll just flip it over. And I'm going to do it for both of them so I can have um, both of them for breakfast. And this is my breakfast today. I'll let you know how it turns out. Until next time, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm go ahead and pause it right now, and we'll, we'll continue later. Just wanted to let you know what's up. Um, while the food was cooking, I was actually in the back. I know it's a mess back there. i got to clean out and straighten out again. But I was actually in the back changing clothes. So I'm like, <laughs> my big gut there. I am um, dressed for work right now, other than my shoes. And I was letting the food continue to cook. Now the rice cooker, when it gets hot enough, it shuts off into warm mode to show when the rice is done. But obviously this isn't rice. And um, when it flipped over, the food wasn't done. So I, I just opened it up and flipped it over. You can see it started to brown a little bit. Um, and I just flipped the food over. See a little bit of it sticking on there. I'm going to flip it back over again. I'm going to try to set the heat on high. When you... Um, when the rice cooker pops and goes to warm mode, it means the heating element is hot. So it shuts off. And if you try to put it back on high again right away, it won't go back on high. Because it's hot. Not because it's effective or anything. It just won't go back on high while it's hot. So what you have to do is let it sit and cool down a little bit. You know, don't turn it off. Just leave it on warm mode. Then after a few minutes, turn, put the switch back on to make it go high again. So I flipped the food. I'm going to let this run in a little bit until it um, looks like it's fully cooked. Then I'm going to take it out and see if it's done. And if it is done, I'm going to cook up the second one. I'll probably be driving around because I'm going to start to head towards work. I brought my socks. I'm going to put my shoes on. And um, basically do two things at once. Right now I'm just sitting here parked with the engine running while I'm cooking. Which isn't the most fuel economical way to cook, but... Um, it's because I'm not driving, and I'm not driving because I just woke up and went to get the food. Anyhow, I will be driving around here in a little bit. I think I'm going to drive towards work and have it cook while I'm heading towards work, and I may eat in the, the work parking lot. So here then is the food. Um, I think it's done, and how can you tell it's, if food is done or not? You can't really, other than look at it and see if it's brown enough, or touch it and it's hot here you can see it's easily cutting and 
still feels a little cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm, it's not done. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up a little bit more. So that's how you tell with this when you're cooking with the rice cooker. Let the food hot on the inside too. It was frozen solid. So I'm going to put it back in there and let it cook a little bit more. All right, I've moved to a different location just to sit in the shade a little bit. It's been about 20, 25 minutes since we started cooking. Let's see if this is done now. It's still cold. So I need to heat it up some more. It was like frozen solid. I'm going to do that. So my recommendation on the, on these um, meat wraps may not be worth it if, um, if you're going to cook it with the rice and burr took too long. I'm going to put it back in there and let it cook some more. Alright, it took nearly, it took like 30 minutes or more than 30 minutes to try to get this thing cooked. So, it may be doable if you've got like 30 minutes to drive around while you're cooking one of these things. And keep flip, flipping it over, letting the rice cooker cool down and then put it back on high heat to get it to cook. It won't cook on the medium heat. I mean, it will, but it'll take forever. So, taste-wise, I tasted a little bit of it. It was okay. Um, each of these costs like about a dollar thirty-three at this Walmart that I was from, right, that I bought it from. So, I don't know if it's really worth it. You could get the burritos for fifty cents, and the picture looked better, but it says it's supposed to have beef and cheese, and I guess it does, but it's like a mush in there. It's not much different than what they had in the um, burritos. The burritos were half the price. So, um, I would not, I mean, I would say you could have these if you really like them, but I don't think they're much better than the 50 cent burritos. And, um, they seem to take forever to cook, so I probably won't be getting more, any more of these. Until next time, everybody, good eating.